This is a video for GCSE Chemistry, exploring the idea of what we mean by a mole and Avogadro's number. By the end of this video, you should be able to recall a value for Avogadro's number, and then use that number to calculate either the number of particles in a certain number of moles, or the number of moles given the number of particles. Often in chemistry, it's really useful for us to be able to compare the relative amounts of two different substances. But if we actually counted up the number of atoms, well, atoms are tiny, so in any sample you're going to have billions and billions of them, and the numbers just get really complicated to work with. One way that chemists get around this is by using something called the mole. You can think of the mole as a multi-pack which always has a certain size. If I said to you that I wanted you to buy a six-pack of pretty much anything, you would know that that inside it would have six individual items. In the same way, the mole is the chemist's version of a multi-pack, and it always has a particular number of particles in it, whether those particles are atoms or molecules or ions. In English, there are lots of words that we use to represent a particular number. So a dozen always means 12, a score means 20, a million means one with six zeros after it. And when I as a chemist talk about a mole, I mean 6.02 times 10 to the 23 of a particular particle. That number is called Avogadro's number or sometimes Avogadro's constant. And we can use it to calculate exactly how many particles there are in a substance if I already know how many moles there are. If every mole contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles, how many particles are there in each of these samples? So one mole is quite straightforward because as we've already said, one mole always contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles. So two moles will contain double that number of particles and expressed in standard form, that's 1.204 times 10 to the 24. Five moles would contain 3.01 times 10 to the 24 particles. 10 moles would contain 6.02 times 10 to the 24. And 100 moles would contain 6.02 times 10 to the 25 particles. But what about half a mole? In the same way that it's entirely reasonable for you to have half a million, you can have half a mole. Our process is exactly the same, even if the number of moles is a decimal and even if it's less than one. You just multiply the number of moles by Avogadro's constant. So in a sample that contains half a mole of particles, there are 3.01 times 10 to the 23 particles. And in a sample that contains 0.1 moles of particles, there are 6.02 times 10 to the 22. And in a sample that contains 3 quarters of a mole of particles, there are 4.515 times 10 to the 23. And in a sample that contains 1.2 moles of particles, there are 7.224 times 10 to the 24. So each time, to work out the number of particles from the number of moles, you just multiply the number of moles by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Let's think about going back the other way. Say I told you that I needed to buy 600 mince pies for research purposes. How many multipacks would I need to buy? Well, I can see that each multipack contains six mince pies. And what I would do is 600 divided by six to give me an answer of 100 packs. This is the same process that we're going to go through working out how many moles there are if we know the total number of particles. So 600 was the total, and six was the number contained in one multipack, which is equivalent to Avogadro's number. So I'm going to take the total number of particles and divide it by Avogadro's number. So if I have a sample that I know contains 8.428 times 10 to the 23 particles, and I want to know how many moles that is, I need to divide that number by Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And that gives me an answer of 1.4 moles. It's important when you complete this calculation that you use brackets, otherwise you may end up with completely the wrong answer. If I have 1.3846 times 10 to the 24 particles, that's 2.3 moles. 2.0468 times 10 to the 24 particles is 3.4 moles. 2.709 times 10 to the 23 particles is 0.45 moles, and 5.719 times 10 to the 22 particles is 0.095 moles. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you're now feeling confident to move on to some more complicated calculations involving moles. If you haven't already watched it, your next step is to learn how to calculate relative formula mass. 
If you found this useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCSE Chemistry videos coming soon.